nations in my very own city in St. Louis. We have about 43 countries representing here. So they have different stalls for food and shopping and their handicrafts and whatnot. So as you can see, there are a lot of people here and there is a variety of 43 countries representing in Tower Grove Park. So today is the 24th September. 24th August 2019 and we have the Festival of Nations in our own city. So let's just show you guys around. Today is going to be a very fun fun day. Let's get going. Can you tell us a little bit about your stall and where you are from and how you started off with this? Well, I come from Ghana and I've been living in Madagascar over 18 years and so I try to support women from Madagascar because when I went to Madagascar I know it's hard for them. Uh, what I do is I help them by giving them the seed money and I've been working with 20 women so I give them this seed money so they're able to buy all the, the product that we need which is raffia, straw and leather and once they get everything they make I also help them with with the design. Mm -hmm. So I design all the baskets mm -hmm. and I always go there with them so we work together. Once they're done, they mark everything up and then we buy it all back from them. Mm -hmm. And I think that helps these women that they don't have to go to the bank because when you're not rich, it's hard for you to get money when you ask certain amount from the bank. Mm -hmm. So that's why I step in to help them so I can help them at least to start what they want to do. Mm -hmm. And they enjoy it because end of the day, they are able to find money to start what they want to do yeah. and also to find someone, once they've done, someone who can buy it. And they don't work for me, we work with each other because that way they can they can yeah. benefit how much they want to sell it because I know if I can help and bring it to US, we do a very good job of working together and support them for their daily food every day and also help with their children. So that's my story. That's awesome. Thank that's you. awesome. Yeah. You are you're a woman who's empowering everybody. Thank, thank you. And I want you to show us your beautiful jewelry boxes because they attracted me the most. Oh, okay. So our jewelry boxes, we make them this way. I do have three different sizes, mm -hmm. but today I only brought the big ones. Mm -hmm. uh, the way we make them, I thought we always need something when we travel, mm -hmm. especially so we don't have our jewelry. We women, we really like jewelry, but sometimes also men can use them for their offices. Uh -huh. We do three compartments, so when you travel and you have piece of, you know, whatever you have earrings, we can divide them and then they one tangle around. I choose this type and design it because I think they're very sharp looking uh -huh. and they're very simple. Yes. All what we use is inside is just a simple cardboard that we carve around and also we cover it on a uh, beautiful raffia. Everything that you see here is unique and it's all handmade. The handles that to cover it, it or the club that they call it, is made of cow horn. Mm -hmm. In Madagascar there are a lot of cows and they use them all the time and we oh. thought it would be easy instead of throwing all the things we can still you know use them for something else. That's like so nice. It's like a cow horn. Yeah. So we wow. recycle those. And this cow is from Madagascar. <laughs> so we get it all from Madagascar. That's beautiful. Yeah. Thank so. you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Nice Thank you so you. much. Nice to you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
have George with us and he's going to tell us a little bit about his products and about Greece. Right, so I'm George Cronus, I come from Greece. I came to the United States about 20 years ago and uh, I come from uh, Sparta, Greece in the southern part. Uh, our products are from the farms of my great-grandfather from the 1800s. Uh, we have mainly olives and olive oil from that farm and uh, this year we have some uh, other products like uh, vinegars, uh, salts and um, uh, herbs and then uh, honeys and honey spreads and also tahini down at the bottom. All of our products are organic and uh, most of them are grown around the region of uh, my great grandfather's uh, grandfather's fields. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, hand pick the olives and uh, we make the olive oil ourselves uh, for uh, four generations now. Wow, that is so awesome. Also, can you teach us some Greek? Yes. Uh, so so how do we say hello in Greek? Yes. Yasis? Yes, yes. yes. You can also use it for goodbye and okay. for cheers. So you learn okay. three words in one. Oh, that's awesome. It can't be bad. And how do we say that? Um, I want to go to Greece. <laughs> Felo na pao stin elada. Felo na pao stin elada? Elada. Elada? Okay. So where is Greece in that? Uh, Elada is Greece. Elada is Greece. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. So thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. It was great um, to meet you. Everything here looks awesome. Let's just get something. Thank you very much. Thank you.